Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the cat. We had a great night, yummy dinner, good bottle of wine, good company. Uh, I brought us a new bottle of wine. I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks, but I would have told you about this last week. Motto. $47 for a 12-pack, which works out to $3.97 a bottle. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon at Costco, I'm telling you. I'm going to buy a pallet of this crap, you guys. I'm just going to dedicate <laughs> a room in the apartment to having a pallet of this crap. A pallet. Oh, my God. You can't get wine that cheap. I tried one the other week I didn't get to tell you about, but I want you to know about, and I'm not going to tell you where I got it because you'll go and get it, and then I won't get to go and get it. <laughs> this is Dynamite. This one is actually a red blend. Liked it a bunch. Going to go back and get some more as soon as I run out of the motto at $3.97 a bottle. <laughs> Um, I tried um, a new loco this week. New loco. Isn't this exciting? A new loco red blend. I drank it as much and as fast and as furiously <laughs> as I could. They only had three, so I drank them quickly. But then I found them they, uh, down at the 7-Eleven down the street. So, But Sheets has them cheapest, you guys. Sheets. A dollar cheaper, I think enjoy them. I did. <laughs> uh, I watched a shitload of movies, you guys. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm going to start in reverse because I think that uh, I'll remember the newer movies better. I, I rewatched What Men Want this week. I uh, enjoyed that a lot last week with Matt. Um, we, we fell asleep. We both got really tired and it was really late, so we didn't get to film a show, but <laughs> What Men Want, you've got to watch that. I've watched it twice now. It had Taraji, it had Tracy Morgan, and the um, fortune teller is Erica Badu. When I watch stuff twice, I remember it really good. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you to avoid is The Headhunter. I don't say this about many movies, but it drug on and on and on. It was this Viking, and he was killing these monsters, and he'd bring their head back, and he'd hang it in his place in, in where he lived, and he was on the hunt of the one that killed his daughter. All right, I'm going to stop talking about that movie now because I swear, please don't watch it. Nothing about it was good. Um, I, I watched one called I'm Not Here. It had the, uh, Matt, who was the guy who was the teacher in, in drum roll? Remember he, where he oh. really pushed that kid to play yeah. the drums? Um, anyway, he... He played he, J. Jonah Jameson in the Spider-Man movies, and I know his name, but I just, it's just, I just okay. can't think of it. Yeah. Well, oh, we didn't J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. I, I think Simmons. you're exactly That's right. That's I think it. I remember seeing it yeah. because I, I mm -hmm. watched the credits, but right. I can't retain okay. it all. But um, he was living with the present, and he was alone in his apartment, uh, boxes full of stuff that he was going through, and it reminded him of his life. He was a terrible alcoholic. I think his small child got killed, um, but he was a terrible alcoholic most of his life. But it, I don't know. It, it, the story drug on. It was an interesting perspective on another person's life. Um, Prodigy. Prodigy was very good. I like Prodigy a lot. The, the, the kid grew up. Um, he was born on the day that a serial killer was killed. So the serial killer entered his body and he was part himself and part serial killer when he was growing up. It was, it, it, that was a pretty good story. I, I like that one. Um, Bundy and the Green River Killer. So, I don't know if this is true or not, but we had the Green River Killer that was killing prostitutes. And then they went to the prison and they were asking Bundy, um, I don't know, he was giving them information about how to find somebody who would do this kind of thing. And it was interesting because he said the guy will come back and visit the crime scene as long as it hasn't been touched. So, 
they went back and and they did they caught him i i don't know the validity of the story but if it if it was true that was really good that was really good stuff that bundy gave them to track him down by um let's see i watched another one called arctic that was very good this guy was in a plane crash he was living pretty good with what he had going on he was fishing he was eating raw fish because he didn't have me any means of cooking it because all he was living out of was the hull of a crashed plane. And then another plane crashed and he went and got that girl and she was pretty severely injured and he did everything he could to take care of her. He, he drug her on a sled across the mountains to get help when he decided that he was going to leave the, the safety of where he was there and that that was the whole movie is he going to stay where he is and where he's comfortable or is he going to take off and and go get help and and try to find it um but th that was a good movie i liked it it made you think of made you think about it what would you do would you have drug her in the condition she was is it like he did and and save everybody hmm think about that um i i finally got to watch serenity I, I was I was kind of confused by this one. I, I'm thinking what they were saying. Anne Hathaway goes back and she gets Matthew McConaughey, which is her ex-husband, to kill her current husband. Um, I swear I can't tire of seeing Matthew McConaughey naked. It's really it's <laughs> really nice. And it had that damn Diane Lane in it. I ever since she cheated on Richard Gere in that movie, I hate her. But anyway, she, I know she was Superman's mom and whatever. But anyway, um, as far as I'm understanding with the Serenity. <sighs> Spoiler alert! The, Matthew McConaughey was, uh, died in the war. And the story he was in was a video game. And the son had created it. And nobody could die there. Um... You watch it. I, I don't know. I got, I got a little confused by it. You know, when you start talking about that video game stuff. But it it, 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 it it was interesting in their relationship and all. Maybe I'll watch it again, but I got to rent it. Because I, I had to rent this one. <laughs> I watched uh, Vice. And that was one of my um, mentions on the previews. I was watching movies one day, and then all of a sudden, the, the um, Vice movie came up with Dick Cheney. And I was like, man, I want to see that. So that is, that is uh, I can cross that off on my previews, because I mentioned it. And I can cross it off on my movies, because I mentioned mm -hmm. it. <laughs> but it was really good. I learned a lot about Dick Cheney and, and all that stuff that goes on in the government. And the things that he did, and, it, and how he... Um, interacted with them and and ha made things happen that was that was very interesting yeah. oh and i was gonna say in, in one, one of the uh, extras they had a deleted scene which was a musical scene it was like damn they should have left that in yeah that yeah was really we, good we really did enjoy that it was interesting a lot there were there were several alternative endings wasn't it matt uh, it was yeah. a lot of special mm -hmm. features to all of that when we got to the end that's why i love to rent movies you guys because the special features just tell you so much about the movie that you didn't know. It's really interesting. Uh, let's see. I didn't get to say a happy third birthday to Jared Driscoll's cat. Um, I, I, Matt and I have been practicing all night on saying the cat's name. All right, so it's Aber Wist With. Aber Wist With. Wist With. Yep. Thank you. Hey. I was really close. Yep. Um, happy third birthday. I, I was telling Matt tonight, I wish I could go back and have my kitty cat be three again and start all over again with her. She's been a good kitty cat from the very beginning hey. to, oh my God, to the present day. Love my kitty cat. Jared, I hope you get as many years out of, out of your kitty cat as I got out of mine. She is a happy girl. Doesn't she look just like Jared's cat? Yep. I love to look at pictures of his kitty cat. All right, let's see. Um, I watched Destroyer with Nicole Kidman. It appeared to me that she was a police officer. I'm going back like two weeks now, so I'm, I'm getting kind of loose on okay. my interpretations of the movies. 
Um, she was a policeman. She was going back and interrogating some of the people that she used to hang around with that were not good characters when she was younger. Um, she might have busted them. I, I got a little confused in that one, too. You were stone. I, I'm not sure what they were saying with that. Um, it was interesting, though, seeing her because they showed her when she was young and they showed her when she was older. But what she looked like now looked like what she looked like when she was young. I mean, they really had to make her up to make her look like an old woman because Nicole... Nicole Kidman is a beautiful lady, so they had to all mm -hmm. do all this shading and darkening her up. Okay. But it, uh, we I might we might need lost. to wrap this up just to get to like whatever the best of. Uh, Miss Bala, Miss Bala was good. The girl was coerced into working for the government and working for the bad guy at the same time when all she was doing was trying to save her best friend. Um, dragged Across Concrete. It had Don Johnson, Vincent Vaughn, and Mel Gibson. Um, they were cops. They got suspended for something that they did that wasn't the worst thing any cop could do. So they decided to step over to the bad side and rob a bad guy. And then what happens, happens from there. But it goes on and on. And it was really good, you guys. Dragged Across Concrete. Oh, one I had put off that I didn't realize was going to be good was so funny. It was called Don't Worry, He Won't Get Far on Foot. Um, I know it had Jack Black in it. It was the story of the guy that draws the cartoons in Penthouse Magazine. So he was a, a, he was a terrible drunk, terrible drunk. Um, he was riding in the car with Jack Black. They were out having a a, a golly day a fun filled night of drinking and they crashed um jack black's character left he was fine but but the guy that the story was about i wish i had his name for you maybe matt will put it over here i think it's s gross is that the name gross i i wish i could tell you i'll look it up yeah but uh he, he was paralyzed from you know about here down he had a hard time working with his hands, wow. so you would see that he would use both hands to Oh, draw. that's a different guy. I, okay, not not gross. Yeah, okay. And, I'll uh, look it up. His, his comics were so um, gross, uh, you know, yes. that mm -hmm. people didn't want to look at him, so he ended up in Penthouse doing the, <laughs> the, the pictures for them. It was really cute. That was a good story. Okay. Don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Okay. We have, he we, was have, we have to wrap it up. It's getting like running out of uh, space unless you got one more to mention. Oh, so uh, 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 one that's coming up that I want everybody to see is Chucky, the new Child's Play movie. The new Men in Black movie is coming out. And there's a new one with Olivia Wilde called A Vigilante. I can't wait to see that. Um, I'll spend next Tuesday in the Fortress of Solitude. Here in this, this Fortress of Solitude. Uh, maybe eating some cauliflower tater tots. <laughs> Just some crazy shit I wanted to bring up to you guys. But uh, I hope you all have a great week. Come back and see us. We'll be here. Maybe I'll have my Wonder Woman socks on. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Woohoo! Bye. Hey, I hope everybody has a happy Mother's Day. I know I will. I'm going to be working, but maybe Justin will be working the same time, and I'll see him there. Take care of yourself. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. I swear I can't tire of seeing Matthew McConaughey naked. It's really, it's really <laughs> nice.